All right, hello. Um, I'm not long home from the doctor. I had my second follicle scan today, and I must say it went a heck of a lot better than um, the last one two days ago. I have 11 follicles, and right now they're between the size of 10 millimeters and 13 millimeters, with a couple that are quite close to 14 millimeters which is quite good and I'm very happy to go to egg retrieval with 11 eggs or 11 follicles. Um, those 11 follicles are not guaranteed to have um, eggs in them but I think um, statistics show that it's like 75% of follicles will have an egg so that's good. Um, so that went very well. Um, my doctor did do the scan today, so he took his time. He had a look. Everything looked pretty good. Um, my endometrium lining, which is the uterine lining, is 8.1, and they like to see it between 8 and 12 for implantation to actually be able to occur. So if I'm already at 8 millimeters, that's excellent by time. Um, we go ahead to do the transfer. It should be between like 11 and 12, more than likely. I generally don't have a problem with my lining unless I'm taking Clomid, and then my lining does get extremely thinned out, hence the reason why I've had several miscarriages. Um, what else? Uh, as I just did a video on mixing my Metagon, I might as well explain that to you. He kept my gonal F injections at the same thing, which is um, five vials a day. And then he added two Metagon injections um, a day. So I did the first one just a few minutes ago, and then I'll have to do it in the morning, tomorrow morning, to um, be on time for when my husband actually starts to travel. Um, which will be Wednesday morning. He'll still be able to give me my injection then. Um, <clears throat> my next appointment is tomorrow at 12.30. I have to go back in for another scan because if my follicles are at 14 millimeters, which they should be, I have to start the central tide injection, which will stop ovulation from happening prematurely. So that's all good. Very happy with that and those results. Um, we also have used, uh, Richard had to give a semen a sample so we can use frozen sperm for um, our ICSI with the IVF because he is traveling and he most likely won't be here for egg retrieval and the eggs need to be pretty much fertilized as soon as they come out because an egg only survives 12 to 24 hours. So as soon as they get the egg cleaned up and um, whatnot, they can go ahead and fertilize. So the parameters for, for the um, semen analysis is excellent, so we have lots to work with. So we are going in with this now very positively, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, I will update again tomorrow after my ultrasound. Have a good day. Bye-bye.